Okay, so app updates, there have been a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, firstly, the NFC ring unlock bugs, we have about eight or nine. They are all getting fixed by the time you get your rings. Um, but most of them have already gone through fixes and they're up on, uh, they're up on GitHub, but we've not pushed out to uh, the store yet. So, first biggie is, uh, remember we showed you that thing where you could share your sweet spot location with other people? What we've now what we've now done is when you share your sweet spot location, that then um, kind of gets extra weight. So the location that you've stored um, gets more weight on your screen. So I can show you that on here. You see that there's a really intense red dot. Well, that's because we've added extra weight because that's the location that I've stored. Um, there we go. Um, so it just means that if you store a location on your phone, you can. Uh, it's more obvious that that's where the ring works on your phone. Um, now, on top of that, say you store the wrong location, we've, we're providing a settings panel so that you can remove um, settings that you've previously had. So, uh, say for example, you store a um, sweet spot location, you can then go ahead and remove that. So, it just gives you a way of clearing it. I've not got it on there, but one thing we have worked on um, uh, is a way that you can see the recent. Uh, actions that you've created so say for example you've created a link to Twitter well the next time you go to the create page it'll say uh, you know this is a Twitter link you created do you want to do you want to do this action again um, and obviously we have to provide a way that you can clear your actions as well um, so yeah that th those are the updates on that and then there's been uh, bug fixes so we've got um, some bug fixes going more bug fixes for Windows Phone yay um, uh, some minor bug fixes for Android, but for the most part, that's relatively stable. And um, I mean, the best thing to do really for for app updates at the moment is just track us on GitHub because it's all in the public uh, domain, it's all open source. Um, but yeah, the two main things have been introducing the settings page. There's a help page as well now. I don't know if we covered that. So let me see if I can bring that up actually, because I think it should show on here. It will take a few seconds to show up. I'll just create an action. Oh, we also, um, it means that on Windows Phone, you can get your heat, uh, sweet spot as well. So the sweet spot's not shared globally, but if you store it once on Windows Phone, and then it'll re-show it on your UI, which is handy because um, uh, Windows Phone doesn't work with our database at the moment, at this moment in time. Um, it will do, um, hopefully in the future, we're just waiting on, so Facebook bought the service called Pass that we use, and um, they don't seem overly, well, Windows, <clears throat> we have an, an open uh, job on um, Apache Jira for um, for Windows Phone, and uh, let me see if this is going to come up. Actually, maybe it's not. I'm running a slightly old version on this phone. I'm not using it for dev for a while. Well, so we have, we have um, a new thing that brings up a pops up little help page. If you don't scan your ring within, say, I think it's like ten or twenty seconds, if you're struggling, basically, uh, it pops up and says you're struggling to find your sweet spot, um, which is pretty giggity. Um, and then you can click to get help. So it's stuff like suggestions, like um, uh, remove your uh, uh, cover, your case from your phone. Uh, make sure NFC is turned on, which you'd get an alert if it wasn't anywhere. It's kind of all those bits. It's just we, it's just about small touches to make it so that when you receive your ring and you start using it with your phone, that you get this kind of simplest and easiest experience, um, and that it kind of flows naturally through so that you don't feel like, oh, I've got to the point where I wanted to use my ring, but I couldn't get it to scan, you know, we want to, and then and then after, you know, if, if, if you're still having problems, we've got like the feedback um, uh, uh, page as well, which is, as you can see there, it's just on the, it's just on the landing page. So yeah, loads of updates, uh, loads of bug fixes, and things are going really well. Thanks for all the positive reviews, guys. It's great. Um, if you've got any other questions or, or whatever about the app, then uh, forum's good, GitHub's good, um, and support email's good. We, we're catching them all. So, yeah, we'll keep you updated on all the app stuff. You should see some big updates on on, on uh, Control within kind of two or three days. And on Unlock, you'll see one big bug fix come in, uh, one critical bug fix, which is the one that stops it randomly asking to use the NFC unlock. Um, that'll land in January. So it's January 26th now, that'll land today or tomorrow. I've just, all I've got to do is bring up Eclipse and uh, pull and uh, build um, and upload. Um, 
yeah you should see that as soon as possible um and then you'll see the rest of the nfc ring unlock uh bug fixes go in we're doing a refactor so um probably february the i'm probably going to aim for about february the 16th is when you'll see all the big bug fixes going for uh, the unlock app so keep in touch and uh, we will keep updating on app stuff as soon as see you soon